we are talking about national cultures and in this topic we are going to talk about the particular aspect of ambiguity and attitude towards risk you know that uh, people they vary on their ability to tolerate and uh, accept risk and according to that they take decisions which are either risk taking or that are risk avoiding uh, that also relates to how a person is ready to accept responsibility kyunki jab aap responsibility accept kar rahe hain tab bhi aap risk le rahe hote hain so how much they are ready to accept responsibility a person who is ready to respect responsibility uh, accept responsibility is a, a person who is tolerant towards ambiguity and risk and a person who is not ready to res- uh, accept responsibility is somebody who is not very much tolerant towards ambiguity towards risk and uh, uncertainty Uh, so these characteristics they can directly influence the degree to which people are willing or able to make decisions on their own and accept responsibility for the outcome so it directly affects uh, on how much you are ready to make your own decisions and accept responsibility according to that uh that it actually uh, depends on what kind of upbringing or what kind of cultural values have been uh, uh, have been inculcated in you um you see that in the developed countries particularly in uk and usa uh children they are um uh, they are given this opportunity as well as they are also they have this responsibility to take care of them earlier in the life so from 16 and particularly 18 onwards they are supposed to be taking care of themselves uh, so most of the children they move out of the parents house and live on their own even if they are living with the parents they are taking care of major uh, aspects of the uh, you know cost of living and the responsibilities of the house even before that when they are children they are trained to take care of themselves and for example they are trained to make food for themselves or they are trained to put uh, clothes in the um, washing machine or they are trained to do dishwashing whereas in cultures such as in pakistani culture uh, children they are not given the responsibility of looking after themselves and taking care of themselves particularly the money matters until they are uh, holding some kind of job ya betiyon ki jab tak shaadi nahi ho jati aur jab shaadi ho jati hai then they are the responsibility of the husband and they are not supposed to be taking care of their financial matters themselves and even the male child they are also not required to take care of themselves unless they get employed and if they don't get employed they stay the responsibility of their parents and keep on being a burden on them so uh, that is um, the amount of you know that then that affects how much you are how much willing you are to take risk or how much willing you are to take decisions on your own and responsibility of your own decisions uh that actually then reflects in your organizational cultures as well so in pakistan the employees particularly they they have because they have less tolerance they are more likely to avoid making decisions on their own and they at least need direction from above in the form of procedures regulations or direct supervision or they at least need to share the responsibility with others ke koi saath mein ho koi bata de koi friend ho koi dost ho koi coworker ho jo bata de ke acha aise karna chahiye so people take a lot of advice from each other and they really can't they're not independent to make decisions on their own ke hum ye khud kar lenge they need some kind of you know the somebody to share the responsibility and that is why senior managers they take all the major decisions with or without consultation with the subordinates and that is something which actually uh, complements the um uh, high inequality culture because people are not ready to take the responsibility they are not uh, um they are fearful of that then 
people uh, in the upper level positions they have to take charge and that leads to the high inequality culture so it's kind of a vicious cycle all right so on the other hand when employees they have higher tolerance they tend to be entrepreneurial and what does entrepreneurial means they 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 have ideas they have uh, they have uh, projects in their minds and they are ready to you know take care of themselves and they are ready to take the decisions in their own hand and then uh, uh, be responsible for the outcome of the decisions that they take or for any project that they launch or the product that they develop whether it's going to be a failure or a success they are ready to take that challenge so they are entrepreneurial and they are able they are able to handle uncertain situations so uh, when uh, there is an uncertain situation for example change is coming up or there is high volatility in the environment they are uh, you know they they can handle that uncertain situation they are prepared to take risky decisions on their own uh, so they don't need the help of a parent of a, or a friend or a coworker or a colleague they can take risky decisions on their own and that is why because of these things their managers they tend to be comfortable to let them do it because they are responsible enough they can take the responsibility they can take the blame they can manage the outcome and they are ready to um, uh, uh, they are they're, they are ready to do it on their own that is why the managers they also let them do it but the role of the manager is not to actually direct or supervise but they are ready to come to their aid if it is needed um uh, if if they are doing something wrong or if things are going wrong in some direction so they can come to the aid but that they are being helpful not being directive uh then in such kind of organizations uh, there is generally a decentralized structure uh and the man or woman on the spot is the man or woman on the spot means the person who's doing the job who is actually responsible for conducting a particular task is empowered to do the job as he or she seems fit so usko jaise lag raha hai jaise kaam karna chahiye usko lag raha hai unko ye ye gunjayish hoti hai ye margin hota hai ye freedom hoti hai ki wo apna kaam us tarah se kare jaise wo karna chahte hain so that is an aspect of how uh, employees uh, behave in higher uh, tolerance cultures and how the organizations they treat such kind of people in these kind of cultures